several things have made us famous, one of which are the sandhill cranes that migrate through Jasper Flasky both in the spring and the fall. Cranes are quite interesting. They're large birds uh, and they are one of the species that gather together in large numbers. So it makes a very interesting viewing and there are several different populations of cranes in North America. The particular ones that come through Jasper Pulaski are referred to as the eastern population of the greater Sandhill Crane. And they nest in the states just north of Indiana, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and a little bit into southern Canada. They also have returned to nest in recent decades in Indiana, uh, Illinois, and even Ohio. But these cranes are on their way to Florida, which is the primary wintering area. If you were to draw a line from central Wisconsin, which is the core nesting area, to central Florida, uh, lo and behold, Jasper Pulaski would be right underneath uh, that flyway. Cranes uh, learn the migration route. Young birds learn the migration route from their parents. So the parents taught the cranes to come here and so on and so forth down the line until we have these large numbers that stop here now. And also a function of that is just the habitat itself. There aren't that many large wetland areas uh, still in existence. The peak populations have shifted from mid-October to late November, early December. Uh, we've had peak populations in excess of 30,000. So right now, numbers are running around 10,000. 10 to 15,000 would probably be our typical peak. The best times to see cranes on the fish wildlife area are in the morning and the evening. The routine of the Sandhill Crane while they're here at Jasper Pulaski is to roost in our wetland areas at night, and then they fly out to the surrounding private land to feed during the day. I should add that the best place to view the cranes on the property is at the public viewing area. And the cranes use that area uh, as part, partly just a behavior that they've developed on their own uh, when they leave in the morning and when they return in the evening before they go into the roost. We, we do provide uh, such as this um, stationary viewing scopes, but if you have your own, they're uh, much better. Mm -hmm.